Welcome to Threadlife Stadium here in New York, home of the Tyrant. Boy, they really cleaned up Times Square, huh? I kind of missed the sea of wandering zombies and the stench of the open zombie landfills. And they had this nice oil you could shoot zombies in a barrel arcade, I remember. Yeah, that was in a good old days, Grim. Now it's just a tourist attraction. Peep shows and organized crime. <laughs> Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Los Scandalous Damned battle. The New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now. You know what happened? <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep session. He said, how oh, man, who oh, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Oh, the strawberry feels dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone. But first down! I see this guy drop a lot of... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. And he sure got, boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. That run is good for ten yards. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? right now what day is it uh, 
Third and four. target more often and it's first and ten oh now the offense is getting kills oh, this is a really violent game guys it's fantastic <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first. Oh, mama, just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Oh, look at this guy. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Oh, man, he just laid the wood. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Man, what a hit that was. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he's on the fourth speed dirty trick. This play is in like bricks and fouls. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, I don't give these reps any ideas, you idiot. Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. From this. He's dead, you moron. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. 
Hot one, hot two, hot, hot five, two. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. We're blowing up on Shitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. Now well, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. He's at the 10! Touchdown! Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Pow! And how about a little dirt? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for the zone, man. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. They are marching down the field. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Ah, it's about time, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls it, and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitter. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he's running like a moose right now. Missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. The burn.
return returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm oh, at anything really tastes good. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger. Because he's boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Defensive player goes in, and he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, with a punishing hit. <laughs> And it's first and ten. For two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Shave a few days off his life. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Play net some seven yards. Oh no, I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Just remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great fit. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy 
like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And out comes the most underrated position. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Oh, no good. Now that punt, he snags the punt and looks for open field. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks' match stupsing time. That's why the girls call. Uh, you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions, than, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. this they're going for two and they run it in for two points the teams are lined up for the kickoff just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's just like the 4th of July, only with blood and guts. And he's off to the races. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. 
The defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Pam. Oh, Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He delivered the 
freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Huh? And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. And he lets fly with the bomb. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hits. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. First down and seven. Bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you shut him up, bitch. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only drew a main on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. And like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good.
you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. Hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. It's your time to go. It's your time. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. Come on. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. The sticky. The New York Tyrants were eviscerated today and leave a wake of blood and tendons in this forfeit loss. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...